Hello, ladies and gents. Welcome to the newest iteration, the newest chapter, the newest era of the Mothman Jones movie show. We have come to the point now where I have taken away Man and Jones because I'm taking my old high school nickname and bringing it back for Moth's movie show. Where I'm just going to bring up anything where like it's, it could be a news story or it could be something that just really irks me or grinds my gears or something I just really want to talk about. And this week I want to talk about something that's been lingering on the mind for a long time. We don't have confirmation yet, but let's talk about Spider-Man No Way Home. Movie is slated to release in December of this year. We don't have a trailer yet. We have speculation, we have rumors, we have some facts, but there are things that are lingering on that I've been thinking about that I just need to get off my chest. So the movie definitely stars Tom Holland. It definitely stars Jacob Batalon and Zendaya. We saw a couple images. They released the title treatment for the film back in February. This doesn't happen that often for me, but I've been obsessed with waiting for a trailer for this movie because of the speculation that's been coming out there where the movie is seemingly supposedly related to their creating a multiverse. And if you've been watching Marvel projects over the past few months, there's been a lot of evidence that supports the fact that we're getting such a thing based on also the fact that Alfred Molina has come out and said that he's in the movie. Alfred Molina, if you don't know, played Dr. Octopus in Spider-Man 2, the original Spider-Man 2. Also, Jamie Foxx posted some weird um, fan depiction poster for the new movie and then deleted it off of Instagram where he said he was coming back as Electro and fighting other Spider-Men. So, things are brewing. And there has, there's been silence still from that. Tom Holland has said this is the most ambitious standalone superhero project, in his opinion, which is just buzz buzzwords to create hype. But at the same time, Toby and Andrew, the other two Spider-Men, are they in this movie or are they not in this movie? And what are the consequences if we don't get that? There is a very real possibility in some, in some slight way that they don't have any contributions to this new upcoming movie at all. And they are bringing back villains from past movies, but that's all it's going to be. And they'll create this massive wave of disappointment because people have been hyping this up for months just off of rumors alone. And we all know what that does. Remember, <laughs> like Star Wars, The Last Jedi, people for a couple years between Force Awakens and the next movie had their their interpretations of what was going to happen next in the story, and then we got what we got. I personally loved what we got, but it created some crazy backlash. And I do not want to know what's going to happen if the movie has nothing to do with what what everybody else is saying. But the supposed rumors are that we are getting Tobey Maguire from the original movies and Andrew Garfield from the Amazing Spider-Man movies, along with some other possible cameos for this big live-action version of Spider-Verse. Because we got some villains that escaped from other multiverses, and they're going to have to team up to fight the Green Goblin played by the one and only Willem Dafoe from the first Spider-Man movie, and he was also in the rest of the movies too, the trilogy with Sam Raimi. And Sam Raimi is directing the newest Doctor Strange, which comes out half a year after Spider-Man 3. So, coincidence? Or is this real? And... I had to talk about this because it was just exciting to me, the idea that this might happen. Because if this does happen, the fewer movies will make me more excited than this. Just off the idea alone. The movie could suck terribly. It could be one of the worst superhero movies ever. It could collapse under its own weight. And I would still just appreciate being in a theater watching all three Spider-Men be together. And there's a big chance that this movie isn't good. But in the hands of Marvel Studios, I, I have to believe that whatever they're doing with the story is going to work in at least an average level. I feel like a lot of the MCU movies just kind of do the bare minimum of being entertainment, of being popcorn fodder, of being candy. Just you enjoy it in the moment and you kind of forget about it afterwards. And that's fine to make to keep making fun movies over and over again. It's a formula that works, and it makes money for Disney and Marvel and everybody involved, so that's fine. A few movies step up and become more than what people expect them to be, and when we get those special movies, it feels amazing, but I'm going to be honest, like most of them aren't that good, 
um, at least when it comes to transcending past a level that's beyond acceptance and really blowing audiences away. They are very consistent at being entertaining, and that's cool. But I, if even if Spider-Man 3 No Way Home just escapes the bare minimum of what is expected to be, that'll be fine with me. But if we get something that's um, incredible, that really coalesces the the stories of all these Spider-Men together to do something really fun with characters that we're familiar with from almost 20 years of cinematic lore, uh, at least I'm going to be a mess. Because I grew up with the Raimi trilogy, and I even have a soft spot for the Andrew Garfield movies um, going into college. Because when I, I was just going into my second year of college when those movies started, the two that we got anyway. And I was an extra in the second one, so that's always going to be one of my fondest memories of movies is being a part of that experience, literally, and being on set for the graduation scene. You could say it's too good to be true, but at the same time, they've been playing it very coy. And the fact that why would you bring villains from other Spider-Man movies into this movie if you weren't going to bring back Toby and Andrew? amongst other characters. It just doesn't make sense to me why you would tease that if you weren't going to eventually bring them in. If the movie isn't going to be a reunion of all these characters that we know and love, I'd just like to have confirmation and clarity of that so I can just take my expectations, throw them away, and just get excited for a third iteration of a Tom Holland Spider-Man movie where we might have some villains from other movies. I'm tired of the games of just sitting here and waiting and, like... Is it? Is it not? The whole thing with Andrew Garfield talking to um, Josh Horowitz from MTV, the whole werewolf story where he's like, if you ever play werewolf, um, we say, you're not the werewolf, I'm not the werewolf. And uh, people making up stories. I heard some Instagram story recently that somebody met Tobey Maguire because um, I think it was his birthday recently. He was in the city and somebody met, bumped into him in Washington Square Park and asked him, are you in the movie? And he says that Tobey Maguire winked at him and said, yeah. But, like, can we go off this guy's word? He could be making that entire story up. The people could be pulling words and stories out of their actual ass. But what if all this is true? Then, like, I just need a teaser or trailer. I need it to come out soon because it's driving me insane. I've been a fan of Spider-Man for as long as I can remember, I people kind of know me as the Star Wars guy amongst close friends and family, but I'm really, at the end of the day, I feel like I'm more of an Indiana Jones guy and a Spider-Man guy above Star Wars. Those first three Raimi movies with Tobey Maguire mean, I mean, in terms of movies, everything. So if he's coming back, it's gonna, it's gonna tear my heart out in the best way to see him come back. I just need to know that it's happening. And I'm literally only making this video because I'm tired of keeping it inside and I'm tired of watching videos from respected peers about this and just constantly being like thrown around like, is it true? Is it not true? Maybe I'm just crazy. Why am I wasting my time thinking about this when I can actually do something more productive like <laughs> making a video about it? Uh, but I'm just, I know I'm not the only one in this boat because there are a lot of Spider-Man fans out there that just want this trailer so we can at least confirm whether or not suspicions are real. Between this and having no Matrix trailer yet, which also comes out during Christmas time, I need trailers for both of those movies like yesterday. Um, but I really, truthfully, that's all I really want to talk about today, but I want to know from all you guys for those of you who are looking forward to watching Spider-Man No Way Home, do you care whether or not these rumors come to light? Do you want to see Tobey Maguire and Andrew Garfield along with other characters from these other movies in this new one? Does that idea bring curiosity to your brain or would you rather just see a standalone Tom Holland movie where he finishes out this trilogy? But yes, thank you for watching this new Moss movie show. Um, if you enjoyed this, you could like, subscribe, ring that bell, comment down below, and look forward to more videos, hopefully very soon. Um, we'll be definitely talking about more Spider-Man stuff, especially when the trailer comes. 
I haven't made any trailer reactions in a long time, but I might have to make one for this because eh, that's going to be a memorable one. I can tell you that. Uh, but yeah, thank you for watching again. I'll see you guys soon. I love you all. Bye-bye. Peace.